Bloxroots has a system called the Fruit Gacha, a random chance of getting any devil fruit in the game, which only unlocks after 50 levels, which is kind of slow. But this made me wonder, what is the fastest way you can get a devil fruit in every single Roblox One Piece game? And we will come back to Bloxroots because there is a smaller secret way to get the fruits. And instead, we'll start with King's Legacy. Now, this game, I think, has a black market shop, which is, you know, all well and good, but I don't have the money to buy, like, any of these. Like, gold, 2,000 oh Robux. God. Leopard, 700k. But instead, there is a genius 500 IQ strategy we can do. Instead, if we type in this code, it gives us 10 gems. And with these gems, we also need to grind for 100 levels. But once we get the 100 levels, we can then spend those gems and just get a fruit easy. So, BRB while I go grind. This, this feels illegal to use the sword on Boogie. But that's this level 100. You know, it only took a light 15 minutes of grinding, which now means we can come over here and we can do the gacha and get a legendary fruit. Cool. You have got to be kidding me. Bruh. Game number two, Fruit Battlegrounds, is also incredibly simple to get. Watch this. We just click spin a fruit and then spin. And then we basically get a free fruit just for like existing and playing the game because of the gems we got to spend right away. And I got the ice fruit. But if I get a legendary, you have to subscribe. If I get a legendary, you... If I get a... Now we are moving on to arguably the hardest game out of all of these to get a fruit. We've got Grand Peace Online. He is your daddy now. Okay, right. Don't mind me. I'm just going to grind and try and get a fruit. Defeat five bandits. This is totally going to be super easy and not a struggle at all. Now, the method I used in the past to get a fruit on this game is to beg. And honestly, I'm probably going to have to do it again because I am so bad at this game. Okay, I'm getting folded. So I think my plan is to defeat enough bandits so I have enough money to get a boat and then sail out to like one of the end game islands and then start Okay, that's my genius play. Oh, that's the bandit, but I'm dead. It was fun living. All right, this is going to take a while. Five minutes later. I've been fighting bandits for five minutes. This is hell. Make it stop. I have $80. I don't know if I can get a boat with this. Probably not, right? But why can't you sprint in this game? Five minutes later. It's been another five minutes of bandit beating, and I have, you know, $240 to my name. You could call me Elon, Elon Musk. Musk. I need to find out where the end game islands are. Hello, do you sell me a ship? Yeah, I'd like to buy some of your wares. That one right there, please. There we go. 75. Easy. We've got a rowboat. Onward to bigger and better devil fruits. Let's do this. I don't know which way I'm going, but I'm just going to go that way. The next day. Yes. Land. This looks end gamey. What's this? Like Arlong Park? I see like the, the Arlong building. Surely we got some stronger players here. This is how I can start begging for fruits. This is the island. Okay, where are the players? That's kind of bad. There's nobody here. Am I missing something? Uh, it must be because it's nighttime. That must be the reason why there's nobody here. So I spent the last 20 minutes begging for fruits, and I have got nothing to show for it so far. But I do have a secret plan, and this could work. If I go to the trade hub and I beg here, then this could work for getting a fruit. Hey, now this is promising. Whoa, this chest is mad. Mythical fruit chest. Okay, right, never mind. That is uh, extremely expensive. Oh, no way. Is that a love fruit? That's literally the first fruit fruit I've seen in the entire game. It's been 45 minutes. Please, please. He's bragging. I've never been more insulted by a Roblox character in my life. Please. <gasps> yes, we got a fruit. Well, it just goes to show the actual method of getting fruits in GPO is just to beg. Eating in three seconds. <laughs> I can't believe it. We actually did it. I thought he was just bragging that he had a cool fruit. <laughs> Grew up. But now we have the love fruit. Next, we are on one fruit simulator, which for a name like... What the dog do? Well, that was easy. It took me nine seconds to find this. I was going to say for a name like One Fruit Simulator, you'd think it would be like easy. Usually it's really hard because you talk to this guy and he's like, oh, you got to be Giga Chad level 30 to spin for a fruit. But you know, we just found this on the floor, which is perfect. And now on the off chance, there is somebody else doing this exact same challenge as me. I will leave this here. All right, never mind. I just sent it to the back rooms. Okay, we're on a One Piece game and I have got a plan for this one. All that I need to do is I need to talk to this quest dummy and we just need to do a couple of simple quests, like a eliminating bandits. And we need enough money for a ride, which honestly shouldn't be too difficult because we're actually going to go conveniently over there where like all those things are, which I think is Logtown, right? Hello? How do I get this? All right, there we go. $400. Huge. Why do I have this? Okay, right. We're going to pretend like this didn't happen. Ice fruit has been dealt with. Now we just need to fight the bandits. And this place is actually kind of perfect because of all the chests in here, which I'm just going to Yoink. Okay, maybe not. Have I got my ice powers still? I don't know how to get rid of them. All right, we'll just pretend like I'm being damaged. There we go. Steal the chests. Yoink. Okay, we've got 5k. Maybe a couple more chests, and then we can get a boat. Where is the boat deal? 
Am I blind or something? Where is the boat, man? Now that I'm thinking about it, there's no way I got the ice fruit from a chest. I mean, I'm going to conveniently use this fruit instead of a boat to get all the way to where I want to go, which is Logtown, which I think is over here. <laughs> this is incredibly convenient, but uh, imagine this is a, a boat, you know, because no normal human is going to be able to get a devil fruit in their first chest playing the game. That's some YouTuber luck right there. Not only have I found out how to get a boat now, but I'm heading back to the starter island because I think there are more trees that actually like have the fruit spawning there, which is going to be clutch. So my plan is just to spend as long as possible just looking underneath trees. Nothing from any of these trees. Nothing here. All right, we got one final place. Anything in there? Nope. It's been 20 minutes. Is that a crocodile? Don't hurt me. Oh, barrier fruit. We'll take it. That's a fruit in 20 minutes. Not bad. Like I left around this desert like eight times before I got that. So that's honestly not too bad to get a fruit in this game. How long will it take to get a fruit in the game called Anime Fruit Simulator? Well, that was easy. I'm now in the world of cat piece. What is going on? Okay, right. I better run. What does this game have to offer? All right, I got to defeat five thug cats or something. I hear Gear 5 Luffy going crazy somewhere. Let's see. Can I just like open up a shop and... Okay, no. Oh, I'd love to fight some of these bandits, but I can't because Gear 5 Luffy is fighting everything. Okay, I got this. I got this. What the... <laughs> all right, I'm level 140. That was easy. Now the true grinding begins, you know? We're ready to go. Put all of my 600 stats into combat. Now then, where is the gacha? There's got to be a gacha in this game. There's no way. Click to interact. Nope. Click to interact. Nope. That's not fruits. What about this? Nope. That's katanas. Surely... Oh, well, I got a fruit. That was easy. 45 seconds. Why is there so many invisible fruits on the floor? I'm guessing, yeah, do you want to spin a random fruit for one diamond or 35k? 35k is kind of expensive. Wait a second. I want to see if I can get, like, a lot of gold fast. Oh, never mind. Fa never mind. Fa Holy... Ow. Yo, chill, swordsman. Grinding to get a fruit is actually going to be kind of easy. So the grind continues. We're buying our own fruit. There's another invisible one over there. Already got 13k. You know, something light. Okay. Big money. Huge money. I'm at 16k. This is easy. There we go. The money making method is complete, which means I am 4,000 short. Okay, right. Never mind. I gotta keep on one shotting all of these easy mobs and just getting to. I'm level 940. This is insane. This is easy though. This is a light work. Blocks Fruits has prepared me for this. I'm level 1,000. There's a level 1,000 quest. Defeat five trained bandits. This is so easy. I got 87k. Nice. We can get a fruit. Oh, it's a spin. Legendary. Legendary. Okay, we got a common. I got another one of these. Now we're back in Blocks fruits. And the way that you get a fruit in this game is pretty obvious. You either find them around the map, which only really works with the fruit notifier, or after you reach level 50, you can do a spin, which I can't. Never mind. However, there is one super secret hidden method of getting fruits on block fruits. Now this method, it's pretty OP. And I'm going to show you how you can get like 10 fruits an hour at least. This method involves just being a super famous YouTuber who can get people to drop things for you all the time. Behold, my fruit spinning minions. There we go. We've already got two fruits and that was like what? Two seconds one second easy but actually for the average bacon it's a bit of a struggle you know having your kills stolen being chased by titans and everything else 20 minutes of grinding and i got the barrier fruit Okay, all of that for this. Also, if you go back and replay the time lapse on 0.25 speed, you'll see how I met the friendliest marine on all of Blocks Roots. 